Welcome back. Uh, well, welcome back everyone for the next segment we have here, Leviathan. Congratulations guys for your victory and thank you for joining us today. Now we open the floor to question from the media. Please raise your hand and I will call on you. Uh, we will start with Andres. Uh, hi, good morning. Congratulations guys for this winning. Um, I have two questions that if everyone could answer, I will be very grateful. Uh, there are two types of people who watch you. The haters who say, Aspas is washed, Com is washed. If they have a bad start, their mental is like a crystal palace. And there are the those who are the complete opposite, uh, who support you even when you're losing. They make videos for all of you. I always see Talita Espacin making videos and defending all of you next. Do you have any words for both sides? I mean... For the haters, they're always gonna be like doesn't matter if you're winning, losing, performing. They don't care about that. They just care about like trying to like feel better at saying bad stuff about other people. And I just it's impossible to take them seriously because they don't know anything. Like what you just say is like the best player literally in the world, the best duelist, and uh, carving the best flanker, the best clutch player, the best literal util. Now he's shooting hard as everyone in, in one of the hard shooters in the world. So it just doesn't make sense. Like they're the best. And I mean, obviously to the people that support us, uh, I always will appreciate it. Uh, I think your support is always is what keeps us going through. And yeah, I mean, thank you. You're what, um, what it's like worth to like get into social media and just read all the sweet comments. So. I really appreciate it, and we're going to keep proving everyone wrong, and we're just going to keep shooting everyone uh, so hard. Thank you so much, and I hope you win your next match. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next question is from Facundo. Eh, muchas gracias, Leviatán, por el tiempo y felicidades por la victoria. Eh, tengo dos preguntas para hacer. Una es eh, para todo el equipo y una es para individualmente para Aspas. Se la voy a decir en inglés. Eh, as first, I would like to ask you, uh, during in the half time in Icebox, we see you in a clip telling uh, the, there's else, there are still things to improve and fix during the competition. So I will ask, is this Icebox, then it was a very close matchup, is one of them? No, I think this one was just a hard game. G2 already played us on Icebox a few times and they are good on the map as well. So always when we play Icebox against them, it's a hard match. No. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. And the last question is, well, you are in a next step for claiming the trophy. We have some Team Erectics and Fnatic next matchup. So I would like to ask you for general in the team, where is your feelings and sensations about the next match? Is this Anyone? for everyone? Yeah, yeah. for everyone. Uh, oh, for everyone. Uh, my personal preference is to play against Fnatic. And I think it's going to be a, an opponent that suits us better, in my opinion. Cool. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Facundo. Uh, next question is from Antonio Sommer. Thank you so much. Uh, hi, I am Tony Sommer from Narlitude. My question is for King. King, hola, ¿cómo estás? Um, felicidades por, por haber ganado. Primero que nada, eh, hubo una ronda bastante rara, eh, la ronda 21 en el Icebox, en donde G2 iba a Echo y ustedes pusieron ah, hasta el spawn con todo y Spike. Quisiera saber por qué sucedió así esa ronda. Eh, bueno, siempre lo he dicho, somos un equipo que es agresivo en conjunto. Eh, y siempre solemos hacer como buena jugada agresiva y creo que hay veces que creemos que tenemos un buen timing y hacemos la cal como equipo y preferimos siempre seguirla en conjunto porque inclusive si no es la mejor de las cals si se sigue en conjunto puede ser como la cal ganadora eh, así que na nada más que eso eh, tomamos una cal en conjunto la seguimos eh, juntos y o los matamos a todos ¿no? o se mueren todos en, en ese momento y 
son cosas que pasan. Estamos probando límites. Sí, son cosas que pasan y es un poco lo que nos caracteriza como equipo, que, que cuando siempre ven a tres gente swingueando juntos, sale a la perfección y también puede pasar esto, que son cosas que pasan. We're die together, we're fun, eh? Yeah. <risa> Eso mismo. Muchas gracias y con todo por el siguiente match. Muchas gracias. Hola, eh, nuevamente. Y mi pregunta va para King. Eh, y un poco también otra pregunta para Tex. ¿Cómo te sentiste mentalmente al tratar de arreglar todo el plan de juego? Porque supongo que a ustedes les sorprendió mucho cómo estaba jugando G2 el Icebox. O sea, viendo cómo fue el inicio de este mapa, un poco complicado, pero luego irlo remontando poco a poco. Eh, ¿Qué pasó por tu cabeza? ¿Cómo trataste de planear todo? And, and Tex, how do you feel this win again against uh, G2, your ex teammates? Wanna go first or me? Got it. <clears throat> eh, bueno, definitivamente sabíamos que, que estaban cocinando cosas G2 porque ya sabíamos de la pared que estaban usando en el A. Eh, creo que se están adaptando muy bien a, a nuestro estilo de juego. Eh, así que nada, nosotros también creo que nos adaptamos muy bien. Eh, abusamos de sus gaps en, en todo el mapa por su plan de juego. Así que creo que ambas partes hicieron bien lo que tenían que hacer. Eh, creo que simplemente fue una batalla de resiliencia, eh, de seguir confiando como en los game plan, por así decirlo. Y nada, feliz de básicamente haber salido eh, victorioso de ese primer mapa. Uh, yeah, feels amazing to beat them. Not gonna lie, um, they're my old team, so of course you know there's always like a little rivalry there. But not only are they my friends, but it's also just that they're a good team. So it's like beating my friends and a good team. Like it feels amazing. Um, but it's never easy. So well, Abyss was kind of easy. Well, for them, not for me. But uh, yeah, feels good. Oh, cool. thank you so much. Uh, next question for Sierra Frisbee. Hi, yeah, Sierra here. Um, my question is for Itapata. Um, Tex put it great in his post-match interview saying that Icebox, you guys were changing things while making it look the same, uh, which was really different from your Vitality match on Icebox where it was just these consistent A defaults. And I wanted to know what is it about your matchup uh, against G2 that made you have to dive so deep into the playbook and have to consistently kind of make these adjustments um, Since you know, last time, like against Vitality, you're like, oh, we can just go away against if we think we're a better team, no matter how many people are there, how many times we, we hit that site. Yeah. Well, I think Aspas already said it, like they beat us a couple of times on, on Icebox and we we knew that they have the the key to, to beat us. They they knew how to play against us in order to close out Icebox. So we had to we had to swap around. because uh, obviously the last two times we played them, even though one was in split one. Uh, it whatever we were doing wasn't working that well, so we had to we had to switch up uh, quite a quite a few things. <laughs> Even though it was like small things, we we just had to swap them. Otherwise, it would have been uh, really hard to 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 win this map. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, next question is from Andres. Uh, just the last words. Uh, be careful. As fast won the game, and we'll have the big hammer, guys. <laughs> I forgot about that. Everyone run. Coming. Hammer's coming, guys. Uh, well, we have some questions here in the room. Yeah. <coughs> Hello, guys, and congr congratulations with the win. I have very, like, not serious question to text. Following, up, following your, like, uh, post-match interview, you said that, like, With G2, you have this mind games. And then you said that you were like messing in the bathroom. Then you said it sounded weird and right. refused to elaborate. <laughs> so um, I, I got curious about the mental warfare, what's going on like behind the stage. Um, if you could just bring some you know, context, I think it would be very interesting to hear for the fans. Thank you. Yeah, I think a little context here is important. Um, <laughs> you think? It's not what you think. Um, nah, but we're just in the bathroom, like, you know, just trolling each other, like, even outside the bathroom, like, in the lobby, like, yeah, we're gonna show you. Like, we just talk, like, we just talk shit to each other. Oops, sorry. We just talk smack <laughs> to each other, like, all the time. Uh, like, on match day, we just tell each other, yo, we're not friends today. Or, like, I'm walking out the prac room at 3 a.m., and I see Trent, and he just throws a, 
not a nice finger at me, you know, just for fun. Um, so it's just friendly banter, really. That's, that's all it is. Okay, thank you. And one more question. Uh, you said that you think that it's going to be a close match between Fanatic and Heretics. But in your opinion, Heretics will be stronger tonight. Can I ask why? Um, I mean, Fnatic are always playing really structured, and I think Heretics uh, are kind of good against that play style. I think they just kind of run around and abuse their like individual skill. So uh, it's going to be really important for Fnatic to like, really cover all their bases to make sure they win. And... Yeah, I mean, I think Alpha Year is going to drop a nuke on these guys, but uh, it's going to be hard still. I think Heretics will probably come out with the win. By dropping the nuke, you mean something else apart from his hair color? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> his hair color might buff him. I don't know. It might buff him or nerf him. I think he's going to be insane. Okay, thank you so much, and good luck in the next round. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, thank you. Uh, Leviathan for being here. Uh, congrats, congratulations once again on your victory. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.